Hello guys, my name is Troy. Welcome back to Troy Reads. You guys have been asking and I'm finally gonna deliver. You've been commenting, Troy, can you give me some book recommendations? You've been emailing me, Troy, can you give me some book recommendations? You've been sending me a good read messages, Troy, can you give me some book recommendations? And now is finally the time to address all of it, to finally give you guys what you want, what we need book recommendations and this time I'm going to be doing some underrated book recommendations like some underrated books you should read because I feel like giving these popular books like obviously like a lot of books on my shelf have already been read thousands and thousands of times so I'm going to try to give you book recommendations that I have seen on Goodreads to not be very popular like under probably 10,000 reads or like low rated books that I enjoyed. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I don't know but we're gonna basically be going over a ton of books in this video that I think you should read regardless of ratings or popularity or anything. So yeah, I hope this gives you guys a better idea of what you can read in the future. The first book I want to talk about today is The Hadley Academy for the Improbably Gifted by Connor Grennan. This has been on my shelf for a while. I haven't really talked about it a lot because I probably got this. I actually filmed it. Okay. This is a whole story. Uh, I, before I had started my YouTube channel, like my personal booktube channel, I had been doing Instagram and I don't even know how I got this, but an author like messaged me on like Instagram. I was like super skeptical because I had no platform at all. They're like, um, are you interested in this book? I was like, yeah. And then somehow it did come to my doorstep. This book is kind of like, hard to explain but basically it's one of those books that Jack Carlson is having like a regular day at school when all of a sudden this like sergeant like this army officer person takes him and there are these like these monsters chasing after him battling in the streets and he's like zooming in they go through a portal into this world called the Haddenley Academy and they're trying to fight these dark evils each teen there has these special gifts but Connor doesn't he has a certain amount of time it's like 24 hours to develop his gifts before he gets sent back to the real world and then also in his time there he has to develop this mystery of who's infecting this like dark plague on the world and how he's gonna stop it with his newfound friends at the Academy and a friend that finds him there from school so I don't know it's just a really interesting story there's a lot of fun twists there's a lot of dark mysteries and I thought some of the characters and some of the plot and it just was like one of those like books that almost felt like a fantasy although it was more of like a dystopian and it was just like such a fun world to read from the next book I want to talk about is the land of roar by Jenny McLaughlin I honestly don't know why this book has so like little popularity it's just such a amazing amazing story and I think that just the creativity of it is incredible so that's something that I really, really enjoyed with this book. It's basically set with these two siblings named Arthur and Rose. They've all grown up. They're like 13 now. And when they were little, they used to play this game called the Land of Roar, where they would roar and there's like these magical adventures and they had like all these lands that they made up in their heads. And there's these dragons and these creatures and these magical invisible friends that they used to have. And then when they're 13, they actually go back into the world of the Land of Roar and they find that it's been real. They didn't imagine it. They weren't playing with invisible people like they they actually did crawl into this land with like their siblings and then they were just playing with their land of war so I don't know how to explain it but it's like basically every kid has their own like childhood like dream yeah like they have like their own fantasy worlds and they have like these different teleportation ways to get into it but when they grow older they grow out of these games and they forget it but then they somehow something happens with theirs and like this person comes in and grabs their grandpa so they are forced to go back into the world and kind of learn all these secrets of like what goes on in the I just, I just think it's so fantastic so creative and just the land inside it's like all these books kind of that I'm talking about today have like this whimsical feel to them that it's just like so fun to read from it's like wow I love this world I just feel happy reading from it and I think that it was so creative just with some little twists and with like the uniqueness and the creativity -ness. this was a middle grade so of course it was like very fun just very whimsical and that's why I loved it alrighty next up we've got The Explorers, The Door, and The Alley by Adrian Kress, and this is a very, very wild and wacky, another middle grade story that I just think any of my audience would really enjoy. The back of the book says, the thing was, he found the word explorers rather exciting. The story starts when a very inquisitive boy stumbles upon a very mysterious door. Next to that door is a sign that reads The Explorer Society, and how can you ignore a door like that? So this book takes place with this boy named Sebastian who suddenly stumbles upon this hidden society of explorers on his way home from school. There's also this other character named Evie who suddenly has her whole life upturned as when she goes to a dinner party, the hosts inside get captured and she finds out that she is in this whole plot of this explorers. She escapes and she finds Sebastian. The two have to escape these criminals as they look for this magical explorer item. I don't know if I explained that good enough, but like it's just really imaginative, really creative. Another really reason why I love this story. It's kind of almost a little bit of a fantasy twist inside of it. Like there's some 
some like magical items inside and we get to learn a lot about the Explorer Society which is just this awesome creative fun unique space that we all wish like we could have when we were younger so it's just one of those books you know like those nostalgic like middle grade like childhood books that are like just exploring and like having fun and just like not really having a lot of cares in the world it's just I, I want to continue on with this series like that's how much I enjoyed it the next book I want to talk about is what if it's us by Becky Avertali and Adam Silvera and this is a gay romance between Ben and Arthur and they kind of meet cute at a post office where Ben is mailing his old things like his old ex-boyfriend's things and they kind of you know go their separate ways but then they find each other again and have a little you know like a light-hearted wondrous romance I thought this was not such a, like a heavy hitter book which kind of what I liked because like there's a lot of books that have like these plot twists where they like break up and then they get back together again or they have like this wild life-changing moment that changes their relationship forever like I'm not really into that romance I'm really into just a romance where everything goes correctly it's just like more realistic romances because realistic romances are ones that kind of last or at least to me I'm not sure don't quote me on that but I just really enjoyed that kind of light-hearted things and they did have relationship struggles like you know one of the two was always consistently showing up late and then the other was miscommunicating and so there were those struggles but I just thought there was some really really like diverse set of characters that were all unique and fun to read from like I know there's like fun character named Dylan and his girlfriend like there's just so many amazing amazing characters it was I had a really great light plot and then there was just a lot of like pop culture references like Hamilton or Broadway and like stuff like that that I just really enjoyed those kind of like fun little bits of touch that bits of touch fun little touches <laughs> that I really liked on the story last up I want to talk about Magnus Chase by la, 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 Rick Riordan and the first book in the series is called the sword of summer so if you want to look it up that's the one that you want to get now don't get me wrong anything Rick Riordan writes is technically popular like anything he writes gets you know thousands of reads anything he tweets gets thousands of likes like all that kind of stuff but I just want to say that this is kind of underrated this is 1,000 and million jillion times better than the Percy Jackson series. It just has an older kind of feel to it. It feels more of like a young adult than a middle grade and I just think that it deserves more hype. It deserves more read because if I say Percy Jackson you're like oh I've read that I've read that but if I say Magnus Chase you haven't necessarily read that and so I think that this is definitely a must read if you enjoy Rick Ryden's work. This story takes place with this homeless kid named Magnus and one day basically he finds himself being looked for on the streets. They have posters that are like have his face on it and then he meets his like rich grandfather that he kind of cut ties with when he was younger and he finds out that like he's involved in this like Greek mythology or it's Norse mythology and then he dies basically all in the course of one day he learns everything and then he dies but what ends up happening is his kind of goes into this afterlife um, at this like magical hotel named Valhalla and he spends the rest of his days there yet there is this like threat this like um, doom impending called Ravagog and that is like the end doomsday kind of deal and he has to uh, team up with his friends and stop it the one reason that I like this series is because his characters are so freaking diverse like you could not get a more diverse set of characters with sexuality with race with religion like there is so much amazing amazing things in this book and I really really enjoyed that like Rick Riordan like top tier much better than Percy Jackson plot so much funnier to me like just a really fun light-hearted story that I feel like I could laugh to I love reading like I just I can't express how much I love this series like it's definitely one of my favorites and I just want to die like I want to read this again so that wraps up this video guys I really hope you enjoyed all these recommendations I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of like some books to read because I know I know people struggle with it like there's definitely a lot of good books in this and I highly recommend Magnus Chase above all others if you like Rick Riordan like that would be a great way to start a great series to read or the Explorers door in the alley or the land of roar like there's so many just all the books i talked about definitely recommend but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like it really helps to support me and drive traffic to my videos also i've not really asked this in a while but maybe you could press share and copy the link and just send it to one friend that you think may enjoy it that would really really help me out as well make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you get posted when i post videos you get post you stay posted i stay posted it's all good and make sure to comment down below if you have any book recommendations for me because i always like to add them to my list my TBR whatever you want to call them so thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing rest of your day I'll leave the last video up there I really really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye Jack Carlson is just having a mm. found the world is that the author or am I just making that up I'm not sure